Welcome back once again everybody, another walk around for you. This is a Caterpillar 22. Get a read on the serial number, 1J1189. Now this is a W for wide and SP for special parts. So I don't know what the special parts could be. They were usually buried deep inside the machine, meaning that it needed special attention on the assembly line, usually like transmission gears, what have you, denoted the SP, so the wide and the SP makes it a rather interesting unit. And on these 22s, pretty much the only thing that made them wide was the sprocket was dished out instead of dished in. And that gave them just enough more of an offset center line of the tracks with a wider pivot shaft, wider mainspring to turn it into a wide gauge. So forerunner of the D2 right here and the R2 as well. So undercarriage shares a lot of dimensions in common with d2 this still has the early style master pin that has the uh the cross pin that goes through to retain it we didn't have any tapered plugs or anything like that otherwise track pitch is the same link height and width is the same track pad bolt pattern is the same as d2 it still has the external recoil springs for the front idler and track tension of course d2 relocated all that to a, a central mainspring along the top of the track roller frame. It has different uh, bottom rollers as well, but otherwise shares a lot in common with the Cat D2. And this is just so neat. Okay, I gotta just, we gotta talk here for a bit. The throttle on this is just such an elaborate mechanism. So the top throttle lever interacts with the bottom and it kind of looks like an open-ended wrench right there. So we get our reverse pivot through that mechanism there that hooks to a rod that goes beneath the fuel tank out to here. We have this plunger that goes through the housing, into the governor, through the flyweights, goes out to this rod that then goes to this pivot and this rod that goes between the jugs over to the other side of the engine. Which comes through over here, we have another pivot mechanism that looks like another open-ended wrench and finally feeds to the throttle plate on the right, correct, and proper very large bowl Zenith carburetor. I just love it. It's like an erector set for adults, I tell you. Manifold is just stand up on this one. Intake and exhaust, heat boxes there. Really clean looking unit, good looking core in it yet. It has the early style guide lights with the heavy mesh on the lens. The old heavily bronzed fuel pump in it, yeah breather up here. We have the louvered spark plug cover on it yet, which is awesome. We have this big, huge Eisman mag, which again is awesome. It looks like it's the CT4. Louvered ornate vented panels on there. Eisman logo is all over on the cap, on the housing, on just everything. Side panels in place. Undercarriage again pretty stand up on it. It's got some fat rails. It's got some good looking grousers yet. Idlers look all right. It's pretty hard to see bottom rollers. I can see the back of this one and it's not bad. Toolbox on the fender. Once again, pedals are pretty good and there is no hand clutch lever on this. So the way that you do it, that single pedal on that side is the main clutch. And then these two pedals are brakes. This one is for the left track, this one's for the right track. So that kind of skews your brain a little bit because your steering clutch levers are still in the same place, but both your brakes are on this side. And yeah, it can be fun. We've got early version of an Eisman key in there and that switch. That looks like, uh, is that a US gauge, oil pressure gauge? Another US gauge water temp in it. And these had a smaller gasoline tank for starting and the main could be kerosene. So you could start them on gas, run them on lower grade tractor fuels after they warmed up. Patent tag in place on the seat back. Nice option back here. We have the cat belt pulley drive. Instruction tag still present on that. The large housing tapered up bigger where it met the rear end. And the way this worked was you engage the belt pulley drive with this lever here and you can see the pulley drifts in and out when you move the lever. When you drifted the pulley in, it just engaged the side gears in this box and it spun. So keeping that off of those gears kept it disconnected and just the main prop would turn but then the pulley wasn't locked to it. So decent paper pulley on it yet. Cat hub, cat pulley, looking good, draw bar 
looks excellent. We don't have excessive wear. Track pads, I'd say, are a solid 50% yet. Nice wide gauge 22. We've got the early correct style mushroom top, air cleaner top on there. Correct style heavy duty Caterpillar OE clamp. Look at that. We do have a battery box matching amp gauge on there and it has been converted to an electric start. So it has all the modern conveniences, right? You can still put a hand crank on the front if you want to crank it. Start it that way, but nice little stand up 22. Thanks for watching, everybody.